Hey everyone, Will Yard Sales Survivalist uh, with my flea market finds for February 2nd and 3rd, 2013. As you can see behind me here, we got a little bit of snow last night. Uh, nothing major, uh, but it kept a, a few people from showing up at the flea market. Uh, so, not my usual amount of finds, but uh, I found a few things. Um, let me show you what I got. Now we'll do the picture first. Uh, neat picture. And on the back it says World's Fair 1939. It's a print. It's not an original. Uh, paid 20 for it. Just uh, I just liked it. Um, hopefully to a uh, World's Fair collector. Um, you know, maybe they'll want it for uh, 40 or 50 Got a little football for 10 bucks. Uh, this is uh, the Duke. Uh, the uh, professional football used uh, uh, balls just like this. Um, this one needs air. Not sure if it'll hold air. If it does, I think I can get about uh, 40 or 45 for that. Got a, a lot of patches. $5 for all of them. Got a civil uh, air patrol in there. The green and red are from uh, World War One. A couple moth holes in there, but uh, some nice old ones. Uh, should do well with them. Not sure what I'll get. Picked up a uh, sardine can, old sardine can. Some really a lot bigger than what they are today. Uh, three bucks. Uh, just seemed like a neat old piece. Uh, also for three dollars, got a uh, Zippo lighter. I always like uh, buying the Zippos because uh, uh, they're the most collectible of the lighters. Um, got a little age on it too. Uh, picked up a pocket knife for five bucks. This is a uh, Camillus. Uh, used but not abused. Um, I think that's, uh, gotta look it up, but I figure that's gotta be an easy 20 there. Uh, picked up a Dunlap sharpening stone uh, basically because it still had the box. Uh, the stone's been used. Uh, see, I paid $2. Um, but uh, I've sold these in the past. I think there's guys out there who collect sharpening stones uh, that have the boxes. Uh, definitely going to make something on that. Not sure what. I uh, bought an entire lot of uh, dollhouse furniture and uh, uh, ten dollars for this entire lot it's all wood there's a neat uh, neat little vanity here uh, table chairs uh, everything uh, bathroom sink I used a couple uh, nail heads for uh, faucets there um, just seemed like some neat stuff Here's old TV. Um, guessing that's from the 50s, 60s. Uh, floor lamp's pretty neat. Not sure what I'm going to do with that. Um, first time I've bought dollhouse furniture. Uh, seems really well made. Look at how they uh, uh, mitered that out uh, for those pieces to fit in there together. Uh, but, you know, you $10 for the whole lot, I uh, priced it out uh, piece by piece, um, you know, that's uh, pretty cheap, uh, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, 1975 Preakness glass, guy had 20 on it, I picked it up, looked at it, set it down, started to walk away, said, uh, give me 10, so I gave him 10 for it, and uh, this is about a $25 glass. It's really something how the uh, values on these Preakness glasses uh, fall. Uh, this is the third year that they made the glasses. 1973, the 1973 glass is worth about oh, somewhere around $750. Uh, 1974 glass is worth about 75 bucks. In 1975, well, like I said, about 25. And then it really starts dropping from there. Uh, I basically just concentrate on the uh, right around the mid 70s. Uh, I don't even buy them 
uh, unless they're practically giving them away from uh, the later years. A uh, little uh, fur purse, coin purse, five bucks. Uh, got some snow on it here. Uh, but uh, this is a neat piece. Uh, not sure what it'll bring. Just took a chance on that. Uh, a couple sets of playing cards. Uh, Southern Pacific Lines and Planners. I uh, paid $10 for the pair of them. And it looks like uh, they're only worth about $15 bucks, uh, combined. So uh, not too good of a deal there. I thought the uh, Southern Pacific uh, playing cards would be uh, worth a little more. Uh, I got some old plates here. Got uh, five of them. I paid ten dollars for all of them. They're marked. Let's see if I can uh, zoom in there. Uh, Colonial Pewter. Um, they've been used. Not sure of the age. But uh, I know they haven't made them like that in a long time. Uh, seemed like a good deal. Got to do a little research on them. A little uh, toy artillery piece. Uh, goes with the uh, lead soldiers. Uh, that was five bucks. Got the nice uh, hard rubber wheels on there. Uh, I've never had much luck with uh, postage uh, stamps, but I uh, these kind of appealed to me. I like that they uh, are framed and all, and they were an award. It says, uh, you can tell when they came out, 1947. Uh, 100th anniversary United uh, States postage uh, stamps. So I do a little research on these, but uh, don't expect a whole lot. But uh, interesting looking, and uh, got some signatures down there, and got a little age too. Bought a uh, original painting. It's a uh, grasshopper on a uh, leaf. Got a signature down here. Saglitello. Sag. Saglitio. I don't know. Uh, thought it was kind of neat. Um, it's written on the back here. Uh, drawing done with a reed only. So, have to look that guy up. Uh, probably not worth a whole lot. Uh, Baltimore Skipjack's uh, bag. Probably a giveaway. Uh, collectible around here. I paid, uh, um, I think I paid five for that, and uh, we'll see. Uh, may, might be a twenty-dollar bag here. Uh, old oil can. It's a uh, one-gallon oil can dispenser. Uh, paid ten for this, or eight. I don't know. Um, I think it was ten. And uh, turns out they're only going for about, uh, looks like I only get about 25 for it. Uh, if I'd have known that, might not have bought it. Thought they were going for a little more. At least the uh, decal in here is uh, really good shape. Got a uh, walking cane. And somebody must have uh, took a vacation. And uh, for each place they stopped at, they got one of these little medals and added it added it on to the cane uh, got some uh, German places here some uh, Switzerland places um, paid nine dollars for this don't know how you know there are cane collectors out there so um, not sure how that's gonna go uh, got a mirror for, for myself um, this is uh, an old piece that uh, originally had a gold frame and somebody for some reason uh, felt the need to paint it uh, Battleship Gray. Um, I love, look at the work on the back here. Um, it takes a long time for wood to oxidize that dark. Uh, so it's definitely been around a while. 
uh, I think we're going to keep this for ourselves, put it up in the bathroom. Uh, of course, it's going to need to uh, be repainted. Uh, might do a video of that. As long as it fits, it's kind of big. If it doesn't fit, I'm going to sell it. Uh, put like a hundred bucks on it. Uh, see how that goes. And uh, my uh, big purchase of the day, uh, etching. Took a chance on it, and it worked out. Um, it's an etching done by uh, Edward uh, L. Field. Um, he's a listed artist, and uh, um, this etching is actually from the first um, uh, the first uh, time off the plate because um, it has a I don't know how well you can see it right there it's a little picture at the bottom of the uh, frame uh, it's called a remark and uh, they did that on the first uh, run off the plates uh, the etching plates that uh, pressed into the uh, the paper to make the etching uh, so that adds to it right there also you got the uh, artist signature there uh, for the remark uh, that should make the value about double what it would be over a uh, typical etching. Uh, I paid 50 for this and think I can get about at least 100, uh, probably 150. I'm going to put it on eBay for uh, 200 or best offer. And uh, hopefully uh, somebody that uh, collects this guy's stuff will uh, come across it. It uh, looks like a nice original frame. This guy died in 1914, uh, so that's a uh, it's an old piece. And uh, take a look at the back. Um, definitely uh, seen better days. Uh, so there we go. Uh, another uh, weekend closer to spring, but a uh, couple neat things. Uh, so uh, till next time, stay warm. This is Will Yard's House of Oblast, and uh, we'll talk again soon.